Hey everyone! Welcome back to MJ School of Mining and Geology. Ever wondered what drilling is? Well, drilling in geoscience refers to the process of creating deep, narrow holes in the Earth's crust to explore and sample geological materials. Drilling is conducted for several reasons. In mineral exploration, drilling helps to locate and assess the size and quality of mineral deposits beneath the surface. For groundwater studies, drilling is used to access aquifers and assess water quality and quantity. In oil and gas industries, drilling is essential for extracting hydrocarbons from underground reservoirs. Additionally, drilling is used in geotechnical engineering to analyze soil and rock conditions for construction projects, ensuring the stability and safety of structures. Features common to all drilling operation includes rotation of the drill bit, load or weight on the drill bit, a hoisting system and a flushing system. The rotation of the drill bit is the fundamental action that enables the bit to cut through the rock or soil. The load is essential for pushing the bit into the ground to ensure that it can effectively cut through the material. The hoisting system in a drilling rig is used to raise and lower the drill string and other equipment in and out of the borehole. The hoisting system is also crucial for retrieving the drill string when changing drill bits, adding more drill pipe as the hole gets deeper, or when pulling out the string at the end of the drilling operation. The flushing system is responsible for removing the cuttings generated by the drill bit as it penetrates the rock. However, geoscientists need to understand that the choice of drilling method is not one size fits all. It depends on the stage of a project and the type of data needed. In early stage projects, chip samples will be enough since we need a broad insights into the geological makeup of an area but in late stage projects, core samples are necessary for in-depth analysis of an ore body. Three drilling methods will be discussed today. These methods include Percussion drilling method Rotary drilling method Rotary percussion drilling method Percussion drilling is one of the oldest and simplest drilling methods. In this method, a heavy drill bit is repeatedly lifted and dropped onto the rock or soil surface. The impact of the bit breaks the rock into smaller fragments. The bit is usually attached to a long cable or drill string, and the repeated dropping and lifting of the bit pulverizes the rock. The loose material is then removed from the hole using water or compressed air. Rotary drilling is a more advanced technique where the drill bit is rotated continuously to grind, cut, or crush the rock beneath it. In this method, the rock is broken by rotation coupled with bit load, also known as a braiding and crushing method. The rotation of the bit is powered by a rotary table or a top drive system, and the rock cuttings are carried out of the hole by a circulating fluid, commonly known as drilling mud. The drilling fluid also cools the bit, stabilizes the hole, and controls pressure. Rotary percussion drilling combines the principles of both percussion and rotary drilling. In this method, the drill bit both rotates and is subjected to repeated percussive blows, usually delivered by a downhole hammer or pneumatic system. This combination of rotation and impact is particularly effective in penetrating hard rock formations. The cuttings are usually removed by compressed air or drilling fluid. And there you have it, the basics of drilling in geoscience. As usual, I would like to say, until next cheers.